I'm Teresa. I'm a dental hygienist. I've been doing this for 40 years. I had a really bad experience as a child in the dental chair. I was not very good at my home care when I was 16 years old. And instead of my hygienist preaching at me, she actually taught me how to take care of my teeth. Through the years, I have learned tips of the trade. I'm going to teach you how to take care of your teeth and make your dental experiences a much healthier and happier place. I have some dog lovers out there that when I mentioned that 75% of the population has periodontal disease in the human beings, our dog people have an 85% chance of getting periodontal disease. So I have some things that you can do for your doggies. When your dog has periodontal disease, you have to get him professionally cleaned at the vet office. I've been able to do a few dogs teeth, but I've had to train them to do it. You can get your pups when they're little and teach them to brush their teeth just like a child. It takes time. It's not going to happen overnight, but you can. And I have done some scaling on some doggies too. Don't tell my people friends that. Okay. So anyways, 85% of dogs have periodontal disease. Periodontal disease can be fatal to dogs because it can cause heart disease, kidney disease, and liver issues. Periodontal disease will take at least two years off your dog's life and it will cause very, very, very bad breath. The best things to do to fight against periodontal disease for dogs is to brush the teeth if possible. You want to use raw dog bones, either lamb or goat are the best. The little greenies are really good for helping clean their teeth. And then you want crunchy dog food, not soft dog food. Any kind of crunchies can help get the, clean their teeth better um, and then it's better for them. You do not want a diet of processed meats, spices, sauces, or seasonings with your dog. And here are some healthy things that you can give your dog just, and it's great for humans too. Um, cheese or plain yogurt will increase the calcium and the protein in your dog's teeth. Carrots are great cooked or raw. It has your vitamin A, your beta carotene, and your fiber. Peanut butter has protein and niacin. It has your B vitamins and E. Um, you want the unsalted for your dogs and no artificial sweeteners like xylitol for your peanut butter. Oatmeal is great for their tummies. Um, I had a lady that had a poodle and her dog's breath stunk so bad. And so she started feeding her dog homemade food. And these are some of the things that she did and her dog's teeth improved considerably. Oatmeal, good for the tummy and tummy problems. Eggs, it has vitamins and minerals. Apple slices are great treats. It has vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. It has fiber, it has good for digestion, and it's a natural tooth cleaner, just like in humans. Sweet potatoes have vitamin B6, vitamin C. It's great for digestion. It's an anti-inflammatory, and it is great for vitamin C. Pumpkin, I know a lot of people that make their homemade dog food and they put pumpkin in everything. It has vitamin A and it's a great source of fiber. Your salmon, you don't want any raw salmon. You wanna cook it, but it is great with your omega-3s. It helps with their skin and their coat. It increases the fiber and increases their immune system and blueberries are a great treat. It's an antioxidant, it's high in fiber. It has vitamin C and your phytochemicals. And remember, we went over that before. Some dogs don't just eat raw treats. Um, sometimes you have to camouflage them, the healthy ones. So what you can do is take peanut butter or yogurt and then mix the, the cut the apples up and the blueberries up and put them in there. You can freeze them so they can lick them, play with them and put them in their treats so they don't know they're getting them. So that's a little helpful hint. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope your dog loves these treats and healthy ways of eating. Um, a lot of your dog foods are not as nutritious as you think they are. Um, so please read labels and I hope this helps with your little four-legged friends. Um, thanks for watching. You want to floss the like button and brush the subscribe button. Thanks. Have a great day.